Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called The Shopping List, and if you'd like to do the same, the links and the details are down below in the description. So, I'm going to be playing as someone who's trying to start their life anew, moving into a new place in a new town, but making a fresh start isn't always that easy. Plus, I keep getting the feeling that someone's watching me. Nevertheless, I need to do some shopping, so let's go do some shopping. Really hope you enjoy it, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video by the end, but let's begin The Shopping List. Don't trust a stranger. Okay, overall, that's a pretty good rule to follow. Pretty good advice. I'm going to be meeting some strangers, aren't I? <laughs> All right, here we go, driving through the night. I'm really going to miss my hometown. I hope moving to this city will give me more opportunities in life. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, man, I almost forgot. I have to finish my shopping list before I crash at my new apartment. Ah, I see. So I have just moved in, essentially. Well, there we go. This is the shopping list. Am I going to survive the night? I guess time will tell. Okay, here we are. Let's get going. Oh, okay, so it's tab to check the shopping list, space to autoplay the dialogue. Yeah, okay, let the shopping begin. Let's go. So let's see. Okay, I need to get some milk, some shampoo, uh, a toy, just any toy, some chocolate, printer paper, flowers, and fresh meat from the slaughterhouse. Hmm, honestly, I could get used to living here. I just hope these stores are open at night. Well, looks like this one might be. Let's see. Okay, this is the grocery store, and it looks like it's open. Either that or I'm breaking in. <laughs> Alright, so here, yeah, I need to get some milk. What we got? Okay, is that guy dead? Or asleep? Okay, he's asleep. Wake him up. Hey there. What we got there? Oh, milk. M musty milk. Mmm, lovely. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I trust that brand. Let's wake this guy up. <laughs> uh, Noel says, uh, uh, who the hell are you? Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm obviously CJU. CJU? What a stupid name. What kind of weirdo would name anyone something like that? Cheers. Anyways, what can I do for you? Well, I guess I'm looking for milk, right? Uh, well, do you happen to know where the milk is? The milk? Yeah, it should be over by the soda and drinks corner. Okay. If not, just come back here and I'll check the supply stock. Now, leave me alone and let me rest. Right. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll just leave you guys to it. Uh, so... We got chips and supplies over here. Wow, this is the widest aisle that I've ever seen in a supermarket. This is crazy. <laughs> All right. Soda and drinks. There we go. And who's this? Speak Toast? Your name is Toast? Hey, do you work here? No, I don't. Oh, okay. But I'm actually hoping to get a job working here. All right. Well... How's that working out for you? Not too good. <laughs> Alright. I got fired from my previous job at the tech store. Why? Yeah, why? Because they replaced me with a fucking machine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the way of the world these days. I'm sorry, but come on. And now people barely even shop there because they find the whole machine thing weird. Well, anyways. I'm going to continue to look busy so I can get this job. Okay. Good luck shopping, I guess. Right. All right. Bye. Good luck shopping. That's different. I don't usually need luck when you're shopping, but right. Milk out of stock. It's actually printed on the wall up here. That guy's musty milk is probably the only one that I'm going to get, right? Can I talk to this guy? No. He has the longest eyebrows in the world. Wake him up again, come on. Noel, was it? So, did you find what you're looking for? Uh, not exactly. No, uh, the, the milk's out of stock. Alright, no worries. I'll take a look back here for you. Alright, Jordan, give the customer the milk. No! It's my milk! Jordan, hand me the milk. No! 
If they want my milk, they're going to pay extra. Okay. Alright, so you're going to have to pay extra for the milk. Fifteen dollars? Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like I can pay whatever I want. Um, I'm just going to pay him the fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I I I'm sorry about before. I get grumpy when I'm tired. I've barely gotten any sleep lately because of... You know... What? The disappearances that have happened around here lately. Okay. You don't know? Well, just take my advice and finish that shopping of yours before it gets dark. Not too late. Alright, bye-bye now. <laughs> he just face plants the table. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess he really wanted his musty milk, but I think I might need it more. Okay. This has been weird so far. <laughs> Very surreal. Alright, looks like we're looking for the body shop next. We're done with the grocery store. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should maybe I should go back to my apartment and do the shopping in the morning, I don't know. Right, so the body shop's this way, presumably? Who's this? Oh, uh, Reuben says, Hey, you! I'm gonna need to see some ID before I let you continue down this path. Does it say police? Oh, okay. It's a strict security procedure that we have to follow after this week's latest events. Right, the disappearances? Now, get over here and hand me your ID. Shit, I lost my ID before I came here. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm just gonna walk into an invisible barrier, apparently. Okay. Um, maybe we can't avoid this. Okay. Hand it over. Ah, uh, I guess I'm gonna lie. <laughs> Let's choose the right lie. Uh, I left my ID in the car. Uh, just give me a minute and I'll be right back. Fine. Just hurry up, will ya? Also, my eyesight's really bad, so you better not do anything cheeky with the card now. <laughs> now why would you tell me that? Maybe I can find something that looks like an ID card in the... Dumpster? Oh, this one around here? Okay, this is why we've got access to this area. Okay. Oh, this is a weird game. This is a horror game? It doesn't really feel like it so far. Ah, oh, okay, more musty milk, but probably extra musty. Anything else? Is that a missing poster? Okay. One of the disappearances, I guess. And an ID card. <laughs> Wait, that's that's the guy. Uh, right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna borrow this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't imagine this is gonna end too well. I, I guess it really depends on how bad his eyesight really is. Took you long enough. Hmm. Sorry about the delay, but I got what you wanted right here. Hmm. Let's take a look here then. You sure this is you? It's a little blurry. They don't make them like they used to. What, your eyes? Oh, right. No glasses. Hey, uh, you promised this is you on the card, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Sure, yeah. Then piss off. Wonderful. Thanks, Ruben. Yeah, okay. Well, can I go this way now? Seems like I'm not walking into an invisible barrier, so right. Next up, the body shop. And let's see if we can avoid the police. <laughs> Alright. Is it all going to be on this side of the road, or do we have to cross over? Not really sure, to be honest. Is this it? Doesn't look like it. There's something over there. What was that? It oh, oh! Examine the music box. The hell? This brings back memories. Dude, this is a weird shopping trip. <laughs> 1975? Okay. Uh, it's Mum saying he led her to his kingdom, where he was joyfully received, and they lived for a long time afterwards, happy and contented. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that story exciting, sweetie? That was very good. <laughs> right. Aw, oh, you're so cute. Thanks, Mom. 
I love you, sweetie, she says. I love you too, mummy. Alright. A very early memory there. Why was that just sitting there on that table? Is it the same one? Huh. Well, that was weird. Uh, okay. Oh, the body shop? Okay, we got the body shop up here, so over here we need to get some shampoo. Is it open? Seems to be. Alright. Love your booty. We got makeup, the checkout. Uh, I... Oh, is that your hair? Just for a second, I thought you were inside like a hot dog bun. <laughs> uh, yeah, Aggie, hey. OMG, like, hi! Welcome to, like, the body shop or whatever. How can I help you? Uh, hi. Well, I, I just need some ordinary shampoo. Anything's fine, really. Anything? Yeah, anything. What are you planning? Great! We only have three shampoos left, which is superb, since you'll have any shampoo, right? Yeah? Oh my god, great! No one's bought them in, like, two years or something. Don't know why. I think they're great. Yeah. You can choose between Gust of, Gust of Greasy Gramps, Scott's Saucy Shammer the Poo, and Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Okay. The basic one sounds the best, honestly. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try that one. Ah, Basic Strawberry Shampoo. Great choice. Yeah, it sounds like it. Hmm? You seem unsure of buying it. Alright, you can try it out for free in the public shower that we have in the back. Okay. Come back here after you're done. Bye! See ya, Aggie. Right. So I, I can't just leave? Okay. Uh, no, no. It looks like I'm gonna have to try this out to begin with. This is a very strange game, but hey, a good excuse to see the restroom, right? Right. Is it just me here? It looks like it's just me here, at least for now. Okay, let's test this out, I guess. Let's try out the basic strawberry shampoo. This smells as basic as expected. But it definitely has to smell better than that fucking gust of greasy gramps. I kinda wish I chose that now. Hmm, well, it doesn't matter. At least I got to try it out before buying it. Right. Is that typical? Do you have, like, body shops in America with showers in them so you can test out the products? That seems kind of strange to me. Uh, anyway, anyway, uh, let's go back and I suppose buy this, right? Yeah? Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to talk to you. So, what do you think? You gonna buy it? I, I guess so. Finally! I mean, great! That'll be $9.99. Okay. Shall I give you a tip? Maybe I can give you a tip. Thank you for your purchase! <laughs> I'm surprised that you're out shopping this late. We barely get any customers at this time of day because of... The disappearances? The disappearances. <laughs> and the music stops as well. The only ones that have been here today are you and... Some creep that looked at me through the glass window. While you were showering. Alright. Meh, that doesn't matter really. Just be careful out there for me. It's not safe being out at this time. Dot, dot, dot. Right, so that creep could just be outside, right? Bye! Yeah, bye, Aggie. Okay. Yeah, this is getting a little bit more sinister now. I guess this is a horror game after all. Right, I wonder if it was that creep that left the music box over there. Let's see, um, so we need to get a toy and chocolate from the toy store. Which I guess is going to be this way. Okay, yeah, towards the flickering lights. And the blood stain. Hmm. Timmy's Toys. Oh, yeah, this really does evoke the image of a toy store. Look at all that colour! Wow! Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Is it open? It is. 
but why? Why is it open at this time of night? Okay. God, it's even more dreary on the inside. Is that blood? What do we got here? Painted eggs? Inflatables? Right. Uh, you must be Timmy, I take it? Is that blood? Right. Are you the creep? <laughs> oh boy, look at his face. Uh, hey. Huh. How can I help you? Uh, well, I was looking for something cute to put in my new apartment. You got any toy or stuffed animals you could recommend? I'd also like a chocolate bar. Chocolate? I... hmm. Let me take a look in these boxes. Meanwhile, you could do something for me. No? I'm sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush. I don't think I can. If you want my help, you better help me back. Times have been busy lately. Yeah, I bet. <sighs> Alright. What do you want me to do? You know that amusement sign by the entrance? It's supposed to be glowing, but the wires are all messed up. So I want you to check them out. Okay. Fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Yeah, I, I think I should just go home, honestly. Cat food? No access? Why? Is this a fucking art exhibit? Right. Here? Yeah, let's rewire the cables. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, right, a little bit of a mini game. Do we move these around or we just twist them, it looks like? Okay. Um, I guess that's how it should be. Uh, twist this one around. Yeah? Okay, awesome. Well, that looks a little bit better, but honestly, you should probably clean up that blood stain. Where is that? Um, I think I think they're wires. I hope. Not so sure about that. Anyway, I'm done. Wow. You actually managed to rewire it? Yeah, apparently I did. Yeah. Well, a deal's a deal. Here's your stuff. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, I have a quick question. Everyone I've talked to today has warned me about the dangers of being out at this time. Is it really that dangerous for me to be out right now? Don't listen to them. People don't like when new people come into this town, so they just try to scare them away with the usual reason. There's a killer on the loose, blah blah blah. It's just proper bullshit. Just ignore them and move on. Alright, bye now. See ya, Timmy. See ya. Do I believe that? I don't know. I think he's speaking proper bullshit, quite honestly. Yeah. Okay. So, I got both of them? Yeah, alright. There's just three more items to find. Looks like we're going to the tech store next. Yeah, this game's got a very strange feeling to it. The further I go down the street, the worse it seems to be getting, and the darker it seems to be getting as well. And, uh, I'm pressing F. I don't... I don't think I've got a flashlight. Nothing like that. Uh-huh, okay. Is that a creep that I hear? Okay, there's a, there's a light over there. Right. Let's just stay in the lit areas, right? And let's stay away from those noises. Is it this way to the tech store? I hope so. I really do hope so. Alright. Oh, what do we got here? That doesn't look like a tech store to me. That looks like another table. What's this? A rose. Again, this brings back memories. Someone's leaving little trinkets for me, I think. 1979 now. No. Oh. <laughs> she was actually good, Mum. I'm gonna miss you. Right. So I must be pretty young here, right? Yeah. I love you, Mum. Hmm. Do you think Mum's the creep? Is she back from the grave? Uh, I don't know. Too early to say, I suppose. Strange, though. Actually, don't I need... I need some flowers from a botanist. I guess I'm not going to take that one. Weird. Very, very weird. Okay. 
The tech store should be close by. Hopefully. Nice, yeah, I'm actually starting to run here. I want to get a move on. I don't like this. Maybe I'm just feeling a bit paranoid. The tech store, right, okay. And it actually seems pretty well lit. Good stuff, all right. Let's go in. Right, so this is where the guy lost his job, wasn't it? Wow, okay, what the? This is weird as all hell, right. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, right. Wasn't expecting this. Thanks, Carl. Okay. All right. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll come back another time or I'll go to another tech store. I can see what Toast was saying. This is a bit weird. He was replaced by that. Christ. Okay, so order the printer paper, right? Uh, okay. Well, there it is. Do I want a TV as well? Do I want the printer? I don't think I can order any of this stuff or... or well, maybe I'm ordering all of it. I don't know. Okay, I, I think I just ordered every item. That's a pretty good deal, to be fair. $2.99? Yeah. There you go. You don't get a tip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yep, he's, he's inspecting it. That is certainly printer paper. Thank you very much, Carl. Right. I'm never coming back here again. God, what the hell? Okay, so I think up next is the botanist, isn't it? That's right, flowers from the botanist. Almost finished. Just two items more. Um, and yeah, I suppose I'm going this way. Just want to stay in the lit areas. Down the alleyway? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this, to be honest. I haven't seen the creep. Maybe Aggie was just talking bullshit. I don't know. Right. Wait. Oh. Oh, someone's there. Okay. I have a shopping list and I'm not afraid to use it, okay? <laughs> oh, they've gone. Are we going this way? We can go through. But I think it's a dead end. Okay, all right. Uh, yep, we're we're heading towards the creep, I guess. Yeah. God, I really wish I had a light source. Okay, well at least we're getting some street lights again, right? Are, are we at the end of the alleyway? Not hiding in a bin, are you? Or behind them? No. Okay. <laughs> I am actually quite paranoid. Gotta be honest. Right, here we are. Okay, so flowers from the botanist. Hopefully it's just up here. Or maybe it's across the road, or... Oh, I guess not. Invisible barrier again. Okay, so far so good. Around here? Yep, okay. Hey, oh, nice. Another missing poster. This one I can examine. Right. Ashton Garcia. Reward of $1,200. Please find my little boy. Hmm. So, how many disappearances have there been, exactly? This place seems off. Yeah. Is that a tree? It's a tree. Okay. Uh, alright. Closed road. Oh yeah, I can see. No access. So what are we doing? Oh, we're vaulting over. Ah, oh, well, we deserve everything bad that's going to happen to us. Right. Do we know where we're going? I mean, this is a new place. But we just... Wrap... Like, oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you just keep moving. Okay, we do actually have something over here by the looks of it. Ah, this must be it. Was that Mildred's Marigolds, I think. Oh, but well, the door's locked. 
It should be open. The owner's probably taking a break or something. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. The bike? Maybe we're going to steal the bike. I don't know. I have a feeling this is the owner's bicycle. He must be in the store. That's probably a her, actually, if it's Mildred. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to knock, I guess. Hello? Is there any- Whoa, fucking hell. Get the fuck out of here! That actually did freak me out. Hey, what's your pro- Leave my family the fuck alone. Take whatever you want, just don't hurt us. I think Mildred maybe thinks I'm someone else. I'll just grab this rose then. This one? Right. Could've grabbed the one from earlier. So is that it? Right, now- <laughs> Now the one we've all been looking forward to. Fresh meat from the slaughterhouse. Bloody hell. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Come on! I'll end up soaking wet before I get to the town's butcher! Oh, I don't like this. Hey, ooh! Okay. Oh, it's a stranger! Right, hey! What are you doing out here in the pouring rain at this time? I could take you where you're headed. Could you? Just get in the car and I'll take you wherever. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I could do with some company. Will I accept the ride? Yes or no? Well, I was warned against this, so I actually want to say yes, just to see what happens. You know, if things go wrong, I'll just come back and I'll choose no. So, yeah. Let's see what happens. I guess that's fair. <laughs> oh, naive CJU. Hop on in. Hop on in, he says. Alright, will do. Okay. Oh, it's Reuben! Hey, wait a minute! Wait, I'm on the right seat. Did I clamber over him? <laughs> You're that goofy motherfucker from before! Correct. Oh, what's up, Reuben? Wait, how do you know my name? From your ID? Oops. Ah, I wasn't supposed to tell him that, was I? This is awkward. <laughs> Anyways, so where are you heading, he says. I'm heading to the butcher down by the community park. Splendid. Well then, let's get a move on. Okay. All right, let's go. Don't know if I completely trust him, but you know, he's not a complete stranger. It's just around the corner, so it'll be a short drive. All right, I'm going to keep my eye on you. The back dash cam view, what? Okay. Why? Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, it's that car again. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm actually kind of glad that I got in the car. Hmm. It's a bit weird though, because that was that was all like a closed road. What are you both doing here? This is very strange. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Boy, he's getting real, real close. I don't like this. You guys aren't working together, are you? Mmm, okay. Okay? Well, here we are. I wasn't kidding, it was a short drive. Usually I charge for rides like this, but I'll spare you from the payment. Anyways, I guess I'll see you around. Have a good one. Yeah, you too, mate. You too. Right. Yeah, see ya. Yeah, it turns out you can trust some strangers. Hmm. Okay, so, well, this this is the community park, and... Ah, there we go. Wait, what's that called? Bastard Butchery. <laughs> Who comes up with these names? Alright, well, this will be the last thing on the list. I just hope that I'm not the bastard getting butchered. Okay. Lucas says, hello and welcome to Bastard Butchery. Thanks. Don't be shy, have a look around. We have all kinds of meat, and some that just walk through the door. Meet me by the counter, pun intended, if you need help making up your mind. Alright, sounds good. Okay. Right, yes. 
I'm just like second guessing everyone. Like, like, who who is the creep? Could it be him? Did you like dart out of the car and run in? I don't think so. I think it's it's someone that isn't Reuben, but that's all I've got at the moment. I can smell how rotten this is through the glass. Right, okay, well, maybe none of this then. Uh, yeah. Let's talk to Lucas. Have you made up your mind? Nah, not really. I was hoping to ask you for your recommendation. Oh, well, personally, but- Whoa! Oh shit! What the hell? God, that's really getting to me. The power never goes out in this area. I'm busy as fuck. I don't have time to replace fuses, God damn it! Oh, but Muggins here isn't that busy, right? Oh, hey, Lucas says. I'll give you the meat for free if you go back into my storage room and replace the fuses. Funny you say that. I left some spare ones scattered around some shelves. Yeah, sure. I could do that. Alright, cool. I'll wait here. Here's a- oh, here's a flashlight! Oh, thanks, Lucas. It gets dark in there, apparently. You'll need three fuses. Once that's done, you need to flip the switch by the fuse box. Thanks for the help! No problem, man. Right, well, hopefully I get more than rotten meat out of this. Okay. Well, it's, it's not a very good flashlight, but it is better than nothing. Thank you very much. Right, so, back this way. Yeah, into the storage room. Oh dear. This night keeps going from bad to worse, doesn't it? Here we are. Right. Let's look for these fuses. Is that one? There we go. Okay, just two more to find. Okay, so what we got? There's a door there. Anything else? Okay, there's another one over here. Oh, we got the meat. No humans hanging up here? No? I don't think so. I don't see any fuses either. Okay, alright. Yeah, I, I don't think Lucas is the guy. I think it's someone else. Honestly, I think it might be the guy from the uh, the toy store. Okay, we have yet another door. It's a big storage area, isn't it? Bloody hell. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, well, it looks like this is where I need to put the three fuses. Just need to find the other two first. Through here? Oh, man. I'm definitely not alone here, am I? There we go. That's number two. I just need to find the third. But I've put myself into a dead end, so shit. If there's someone roaming around here... Yeah, the more I play this game, the more paranoid and the more anxious I'm getting. It's just making me all sorts of nervous. Like, I, I know something's off, I know something's wrong, I know someone's watching me, I know someone's coming to try and kill me. I just don't know when it's going to happen and who it's going to be. Bloody hell, big room. Oh boy. What have we got here? Ah, there we go. There's the last fuse. I should check that bottle first. Why? Is this also going to bring back memories? It does bring back memories. That's a giant bottle. That's like a magnum-sized bottle. How can I ever forget? Forget what? Dad. You monstrous fuck. You selfish drunk. Mum, never did you any harm. Neither did I. Both you and I know Mum killed herself because of you. Oh boy. You ruined everything, you alcoholic fuck. I never want to see or hear from you again. I don't want to associate with you one bit. Fuck me. I even lie about my name to move on from you. Oh boy. CJU? Who the fuck is that even? It's me. <laughs> I'd rather that than having to carry the name you gave me. Claire. I didn't even tell my friends my real name. Oh, so it's Claire, right. I hope you rot in hell, Dad. Wow. Okay. Well, that explains why I'm moving to a new place and trying to get a fresh start, right? There you go. 
Okay, so... Uh, I'm gonna get killed as I make my way to the fuse box, right? Yep. That's definitely how it's gonna happen. <laughs> That's my prediction. Okay, nothing yet. Lucas hasn't attacked me with a, you know, a, a tenter hook or anything like that, so that's good. Through here, right? And then on the left? Over here. Yeah. Add the fuse. That's right. And then pull the lever. Okay. Okay. I'm a bit more comfortable here now. It looks like we just need to leave. Okay. All right. A job well done. I guess I was just paranoid for no reason. Fuck. Oh, damn. Holy fuck. Well, I guess the creep wasn't Lucas. Oh, boy. Right. Um, I, you know what? I'm just going to skip out on the meat tonight. Yeah, I'll come back later. Okay. So, the shopping list is done, right? I have to call the police. Okay. And how do I do that? 34 meters, 33... Um, okay, we're going across the park here. I really do not like this. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anyone around, so use the phone. Come on. Call 911. Come on. Oh, come on. The phone lost connection. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm not liking that. I need to hide. I need to hide, right. Down the alleyway. No, that's not gonna work, okay. Um, over there. Oh, that shed? Oh, it could be that shed, right, okay. Where the fuck is this guy? Right, in here, come on, open it up. Oh, close it, close it, there we go. Okay, I think I'm by myself. <laughs> Everything seems okay. Oh boy. Okay. Sounds like he's running away. I have to get to my car. But where's your car? Probably where I started the game, right? Oh dear. I can't stay here out in the open. I have to sneak into one of these buildings and exit through the back without making too much noise. Okay, hang on, hang on. This one here? Just looking around, I'm expecting him to jump out at me. Oh fuck, right, go, go, go. The audio is really helping with this as well. It does feel quite imposing. Okay, I just have to make my way to the opposite side of the building. Right, good thing this uh, office was open. Oh, this flashlight is pitiful. Okay, up there? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna work. I can't go underneath the stairs either, right. Are we using the elevator then? Oh boy, alright. Um, well, hopefully I don't get lost up here. Hopefully I know what I'm doing. Rise to floor two. Ooh. Who was that? The guy from the toy shop? Where was he going? Is he taking the stairs? If so, I think I've got a good lead on him because that ain't gonna work. Right. Yeah, he shouldn't be up here because there's... Well, there's no way he could have used the stairs, right? What do you think the twist is going to be here? Do you think it's going to be like everyone in town is out to kill me? It's just one conspiracy against me? Maybe I can find something of use in the storage room. Okay. Uh, well, there is something over here, apparently. A child's note? Dad told me to hide here in the storage room. I don't know why he's so panicked. I hope he'll be back soon. It's cold in here. Okay. Is that it? That's everything of use in here? Okay. Right, this way. Are we... Oh god, we're not going down there, are we? Oh good, we can't. <laughs> Invisible barriers are helpful sometimes. Oh dear. 
it's him. Oh dear. Just go. Just go. Oh, he's definitely back there. I can hear him behind me. Okay, go, go, go. I can't go back now. The basement? The basement it is. Oh, so we are going down there? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, hopefully there's a way out of the basement. But this really feels like I'm just putting myself in a dead end. Okay. It really has gone from bad to worse all night. I should have stayed in my car. I should have done all this in the morning. I should have picked an apartment in another town. Fucking hell. I felt like I'm going to bump into him. This is really a shit flashlight. Okay, there is something over there. Wait, bo oh, they're bodies. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, he's not behind me. I recognize these people. Oh, do you? They moved into this city to work at this company. They were the only ones that had night shifts. Alright. Now they're dead. With a toy knife left on the crime scene? Oh, oh. I need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, good idea, good idea. Jeez Louise. Weird detail to remember though, in my opinion. Maybe Claire had something to do with this? I don't know. Right, the exit, come on. Oh? It's not too good to be true, it's actually gonna work? Okay! Oh, bloody hell. Got blood on the dumpsters here, not exactly subtle, is he? Okay. Right, come on, go, go. Need to find my car. What's this? A map? Inspector map, go on then. Okay, so we're down there in the bottom left, by the looks of it. This is the same area where I entered into this town. Okay, and where's the car? I never noticed a gas station on the map. In the top right? Hmm. I must have missed it while walking into the town. My car shouldn't be too far away from the gas station. Okay. I should check if anyone's working there at the convenience store. I need someone to call the cops, and I might be able to get some gas for the car. Okay. I just have to follow the path up and then walk into the woods. The gas station should be on the other side. Okay, so, yeah. Can we just cut across? No. Invisible barrier again. Um, so yeah. Like we've done in the past, we're just sticking to the lit areas. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, I'm still alive, so that's good. <laughs> there should be a path I can take into the woods at the end of this walkway. Okay, so... We're just going to get to the end and then cut across, are we? Uh, it's less of the woods to go through, I suppose. Just going to cut straight across. Alright. Over to the lit area. Okay, I'm checking both ways, just in case. Alright, so through the woods we go. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh fuck. Oh no, seriously, fuck this. <laughs> oh, the sounds are such a highlight. Okay, right. Just keep going. Oh, man. That's not me breathing, is it? Oh, I really don't like this. This is brilliant. Okay, come on. We must nearly be at the other side, right? I can't keep on spinning around. I'm going to fall over. All right, more lights, more lights. Okay, the gas station. Okay, right. Check both ways. Good, good. Here we are. And not a moment too soon. Man, yeah, that just proves how paranoid and anxious I actually am. I was so nervous walking through that. Right. Hopefully this isn't where the creep works. Hopefully I haven't just walked into a trap. Right. Okay, hi. Who might you be? Jake Forster! Nice face, Jake. <laughs> I need your help right fucking now. There's this guy following me and I've seen dead bodies everywhere and I'm freaking the fuck out- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold your horses there, Bucky! Okay. What's your name? Um... Am I gonna tell the truth? Am I gonna lie? I'm gonna lie, I think, yeah. 
CJU. Right then. What can I do for you? Well, you could call the police for a start. Yeah, I need you to call the police right now. I'm being stalked by a killer as we speak. Ha! <laughs> nice try there, buddy. I know that your people are just trying to scare us outsiders because you don't like newcomers in this town. No. No! This is not a fucking joke. There's literal evidence all over this place. I'm surprised no one else has noticed, to be honest. Really? Yes! Well, if you're so confident, then prove it. Take this camera and photograph one single piece of evidence. Show me the photo when you get back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. God, this is getting weirder and weirder. Okay, well, I guess I'm, I'm getting a free flashlight, a free camera. All right. Should I take a picture of this guy? Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, he's not the evidence that I'm looking for. Right. Uh, so, we're, um, we're going back out to get killed, basically. Oh boy. I think I saw a missing poster by the right sidewalk. Over here? Now, how the hell did you see that? When you were walking into town, maybe? Oh yeah, there is something there. Oh shit. I'm trying to get my flashlight out and I can't. Maybe I can only hold one bit of technology at a time. I don't know if this is much better, to be honest. Right, um, there we go. Okay, that's it. I got the evidence. And now I'm going as fast as I can back to the station. Okay. Okay. All right, we're back in. Did someone turn the lights off? Hey. Here's your... I believe you. I believe you. Oh. What the hell happened here? I've called the police already. I saw him by the window. Oh dear. You need to leave right now. You just said you saw him by the window. I don't need to leave. If you need anything, just grab it and get out. I need to refuel my car. Can I get a jerry can or something like that? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, okay. You can fill it up by the pumps outside. Uh, thanks, Jake, but can't I just stay here with you? Oh, for fuck's sake. Everyone's saying how dangerous it is, and then they're just kicking me out. I hate it. Right. Okay, well, the pumps are just outside, so we just fill this up and then head over to the car, right? Oh, okay. At least I got my flashlight back. Okay, this one over here. Let's see. Assemble! Right. Okay. <laughs> Just spinning around, and everything seems okay. Pick up the jerry can. I have to follow the path behind the gas station to get to my car. Right. Okay, so... Back here? Uh, this way? There's some light over there. Behind the... Okay, maybe it's not behind the gas station. Do you mean over here? Towards the lights? I really don't want to dilly-dally and go the wrong way, especially if there's a killer on the loose who's trying to hunt me down. Right, okay. What's up with this music as well? It keeps on coming back. I quite like it. Uh, oh. Oh, shit, no. Oh, man, well, that, that really went well, didn't it? Oh, is that... Oh, that's Reuben! I think. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, as soon as I move into my new apartment, I'm moving again. Definitely. Is is this my car? Okay. All right. I'm I'm filling up the car. As I spin around at the speed of sound again. <laughs> I just hope that maybe a flashlight beam is going to put the killer off. Right. Okay. Okay. Have I checked the seats? There's no one in here with me? That sounds like I'm driving away. OK. 
Okay. Everything good? I can barely see where I'm going. We've got a couple of flashlights as headlights. Why is my car slowing down? Oh no. Oh, what's going on? Did someone cut the fuel line or something like that? Oh, fuck. Alright. What's going on? My tires have been slashed. I'm really close to my apartment though, so I should be able to drive the last bit. Okay, right. Get back in the car then. Okay. God, I hope it's not going to be this hard every time I need to go out shopping. Okay. Hey. I think I made it back, and, and now I need to make cereal? Okay. No one hiding behind the door. Okay, that's always good. Yeah, I guess this is my apartment. It's bigger than I was expecting, I've got to be honest. And there you go, there's the cereal. Right. Chocolate breakfast, it's number one. Okay, there goes the musty milk, that's right. Wait, so you put the milk in before the cereal? I'm on the killer's side. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's eat it. Okay. Take a shower. Shouldn't you be calling the police or, or someone? I, 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 I don't know. This just doesn't feel right to me. I keep thinking that maybe I'm the killer. I, I don't know. Alright, take a shower. Yeah, simple as that. Okay. I'm watching the door very closely. I'm actually kind of surprised at how effective this game is at making me paranoid. It started off as pretty goofy and light-hearted, but... Yeah. And listen to the music change. It's stuff like this that's really helping with that atmosphere building up. Right, so the news? Police officer Ruben has been confirmed dead. Right. He was earlier this evening found by the gas station near Community Park with three stab wounds in the chest and two by the neck. Right. The police have searched the area but have not found any more evidence to who could be the murderer. Okay. Okay, go to bed. Right, yeah, no, fine, fine. Got the balcony here, it's open? It's an open balcony. Well, hopefully the creep isn't going to abseil down from the roof or climb up from the floor. I wish I could sort of shut a door here, to be honest. Presumably that came from the front door and there's no one locked in the cupboard. Uh, I don't know about this. Mm, okay, check the peephole. That's right, check the peephole. Don't open the door, though. There's no one there. Maybe they're just ducking. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, alright. I think it's time to go to bed. Make sure that door's locked, though, okay? Oh. Hello. You're just like your mother. Dad? Goodbye, Claire. Oh. I guess it was my dad. That would explain all the things that I found, right? Dad was never the same after the war. The PTSD got to him. Made him aggressive and lose sight of reality. He didn't even realize what he was doing. His natural war instinct kicks in and he gets tunnel vision. And even after so many years, it still kicks in. And it looked like it kicked in one more time so he could kill me. So was there no way to avoid that? I was doing so well eluding him. No oh boy. So, I think my dad just killed me. But at the very least, it looks like I did manage to finish off my list. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> but that was the shopping list, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video. What did you think about this? 
I quite enjoyed this. It took me a while to truly get into it. I think, as I said earlier, it starts off quite goofy and kind of surreal, quite light-hearted, but slowly but surely it is building up this atmosphere. It's ramping up the anxiety, the paranoia, and just the nervousness that I felt going through it. I think it all really culminated with me walking through the woods over to the petrol station. I hated that because I was just spinning around expecting to get attacked at any moment, but I realized that the game was really working on me. So yeah. I really appreciated the shopping list and hopefully you enjoyed watching. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you back in another one very soon. See you then. What do you got there? Oh, milk. M musty milk. Mmm, lovely. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I trust that brand. CJU? What a stupid name. What kind of weirdo would name anyone something like that? Cheers. Alright, bye bye now. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna do that. No, I'm just gonna walk into an invisible barrier, apparently. Ah, uh, I guess I'm gonna lie. <laughs> this brings back memories. Dude, this is a weird shopping trip. Oh, is that your hair? Just for a second, I thought you were inside like a hot dog bun. <laughs> it definitely has to smell better than that fucking gust of greasy gramps. Kinda wish I chose that now. Okay, yeah, towards the flickering lights. And the bloodstain. Hmm. Thank you very much, Carl. Right. I'm never coming back here again. Right. Wait, no. Oh. oh, someone's there. Okay. I have a shopping list and I'm not afraid to use it, okay? So what are we doing? Oh, we're vaulting over. Ah, oh, well, we deserve everything bad that's gonna happen to us. Is there any- Whoa, fucking hell. Get the fuck out of here. That actually did freak me out. Well, I was warned against this, so I actually want to say yes, just to see what happens. I guess that's fair. <laughs> oh, naive CJU. That was all like a closed road. What are you both doing here? This is very strange. Whoa! Oh, well, personally, my whoa! Oh shit! CJU? Who the fuck is that even? It's me. <laughs> a job well done. I guess I was just paranoid for no reason. Oh, fuck. The phone lost connection. Oh shit. Oh. Oh dear. Up there? Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna work. Are we- oh god, we're not going down there, are we? Oh good, we can't. <laughs> oh bloody hell. Got blood on the dumpsters here? Not exactly subtle, is he? Oh dear. Oh fuck. Oh no, seriously, fuck this. <laughs> you need to leave right now. You just said you saw him by the window. I don't need to leave. Yeah, as soon as I move into my new apartment, I'm moving again. I can barely see where I'm going. We got a couple of flashlights as headlights. Wait, so you put the milk in before the cereal? I'm on the killer's side. Alright, I think it's time to go to bed. Make sure that door's locked though, okay? Ooh. <laughs>